You know, when you look at any of the manuals for the ground control system, most of them will show this little remote here. But a lot of us that get the ground control system OEM with the RV, they don't supply the remote. So through the research that I've done, it's apparent that if you buy the aftermarket version of the ground control three system, you will get a remote. If you buy one through the factory, as factory installed OEM version, you may or may not get a remote. And in fact, when you look at the different manuals, the aftermarket version is the only one that I found that actually have instructions on programming the remote. And this is the ground control three control unit. And this is actually the antenna for the wireless transmitter. So if you have one of these antennas hanging off of your controller, it probably is wireless capable. And your remote for the ground control system is actually not all that easy to find. I found mine from eTrailer, and they sell it as a replacement if you broke or lost your original one. So $221, it's a bit pricey maybe, but sometimes, you know, the convenience is worth the cost. And it is Lippert part LC358601. And it comes with the remote itself and a little charger. And so the first thing that you're going to have to do is set up the remote. And I've used this remote before, so you're supposed to be able to push the button five times. And then you get into a config mode. Now it's wanting to know if I want to reset my pin. And since I've used it before, I've put a pin in it. So I'm going to say, yes, go ahead and reset the pin. And this pin is just for this remote so that nobody can take your remote. Now the first thing is, is it wants you to choose the function. And by the way, this instruction is available in the aftermarket version of the Ground Control 3.0 system. Now this remote can be used for two things. It can be used for a system that controls everything like the slides and the uh, awning and so on. Plus it'll also independently control the Ground Control 3. Well since we're going to control only the Ground Control 3, we don't get most of the functionality of this. So under Choose Function 1 it's set at None and we're just going to select that. Function 2 None, Function 3 None. Function 4 none, Function 5 none, Function 6 none, Function 7 none. And now, configure leveler type 1. Well, the Ground Control 3.0 is a leveler type 1, so you want to say yes. Configure leveler type 2, no. So you see here, we have none listed for all the functions. Leveler type 1 is yes, leveler type 2 is no. And we're going to say OK, because right now uh, we're not going to sync the remote until we go outside. Configure fuses, no. And OK. And then set pin. And I'm going to put a pin in here. OK. And then when you're done, you get the menu. And you go to leveler. And now we've got retract, extend, front, back, right, left, and auto level. Those are the functions that you can use. So now we'll go out into the ground control module and then set this up to work with that. And so now to sync the leveler with the remote, I'm going to turn the remote on. <clears throat> and then under the leveler, turn the power on and then turn it off. And you don't always have to do this, but if it's not been on a while, you may help. Then you push the left button five times, and the right button five times. And wireless configuration. And then you just push any button on the remote, and then it's successful and it turns off. And so now we can test it. And now we know that it's working. And one of the big advantages of using this is I can lower and raise the front without having to reach underneath the storage compartment for the manual box. And so again, I can just eyeball it and get it to about 
exactly where I want it. Rather than having to guess at it by going back to the manual panel, adjusting it, and then coming back, I can actually see what I'm doing here with this remote. Well, during my research, I have found that some RV dealers, and we'll call them misinformed rather than unscrupulous, have been telling their customers that they can download the One Control app for their smartphone and control the ground control system. And that's not necessarily true. If all you have is a ground control system without any OEM systems for the slides and such, this is not going to work and you're going to have to go out and buy the remote like I did. And so where do I go from here? Well, I've run across these remote receivers from Lippert. This particular one is a 5 function, uh, item LC305117. They also make an 8 function. And these apparently will work with the remote that I'm using for the ground control. Well, remember in the beginning of this video when I set up the remote, there was a bunch of functions in the front that I had to bypass. The remote apparently will not only control the ground control, but it will independently control a receiver such as this. Now it also appears this receiver has relays on board or something along those lines so that you can connect the slide switches, the slide in and slide out switches to these relays as well as things like your awning in and out and I think there's a provision for uh, turning the light on and off. So I'm going to do some more research and I'm going to see if one of these modules will work and whether they're compatible with the remote that I'm using for the ground control system. And if it is, I can, you know, control some other things in the RV. So I don't know at this point where I'm headed with this, whether I'm going to actually buy one of these. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned and maybe uh, you'll see that I work this out as well.